hundred years, and he who fails of a hundred shall be thought accursed. They shall live in the houses they build, and eat the fruit of the vineyards they plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will will praise you, Lord, for you you have have rescued me. me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I I will will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you, his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime is good will. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn rejoicing. I I will praise you, Lord, Lord, for for you have have rescued me. me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me.
father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our presence here this morning to be with you is a great gift that we bring you from the community of St. Mark's and we hope that all who are at home watching and listening to the Eucharist this morning are doing well and in good health. Our health is very important to us and it is the focus of today's Gospel reading. The centurion, the Roman soldier, the royal official, his son was in ill health and he was dying and the man had great faith in what this man Jesus could do. He persisted and persevered in asking him to come and heal his son. Jesus did not go to the place where his son was dying, but rather he told the man to go home, your son will live. It took great faith on the part of the Roman official to accept that guidance and direction from the Lord. But he went home and he found that his son was living and had life. This prayer is very important to us today, that we pray for the safety of all peoples, for our own safety and well-being and that we remember the words of Christ, that we are to pray in our homes and to go home and to be with our family and with those around us and to have the confidence that God will take us safely through this time in our lives. This was the second miracle that Jesus performed in John's Gospel, the first was in Cana, changing water into wine. And if you remember that story, uh, Mary said to the steward who poured the wine, to do what he tells you, reminding him that whatever the Lord calls us to do, it is important for us and so, during this time, our prayer life is important, the opportunities to connect with our church through the media, to stay in prayer and to be present to God's love, His compassion, and especially to His healing power at this time. We here will pray for you, and we invite you to continue to pray for all of us. In the wilderness of institution, God is there. May the leaders of the church be filled with the compassion of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the desert of doubt, God is there. May we have the vision of Jesus with us to overcome our doubts and be faithful. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In time of uncertainty, God is there. May we understand the message of the gospel and the hope given to us in Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In isolation of suffering, God is there. May we come.
comfort the sick in their illness and support caregivers in their work, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and who are entering into that journey of leaving this world and entering eternal life. We pray that the Lord may accompany them and be with them at all times. We pray especially for family members and friends, for those who have died recently, and for all who are called suddenly from this life each day. We all rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you understand all of our personal needs. We place them humbly before you at this time, and we ask you, Lord, to hear us. We are going to do your will, Lord, at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, for in thanksgiving, for caring and sharing ministry at St. Mark's, those people who take care of relatives of, and friends of the deceased on the day of burial. We pray to the Lord. Lord, you hear our prayer. God, our Father, we make our prayer to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Sins of 
God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on the ground, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Renew your people within and without, O Lord, and since it is your will that they may be unhindered by bodily delights, give them, we pray, perseverance in their spiritual intent through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join me at home, at home in praying to Our Lady of Guadalupe. Our Lady of Guadalupe, in these times of tribulation, we turn to you, O Mother. See with compassion the suffering of your beloved daughters and sons affected by the coronavirus pandemic throughout the entire world. Ask your Son to have mercy on us, bringing healing to those infected and protection to all your children. Jesus Christ, Savior of all people, grant us courage to accompany and pray for the entire world in the wake of sorrow and uncertainty. We seek refuge in you, and according to your promise, Deliver us from this danger. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.